India has issued an area warning for a range of 190 kilometers for conducting an Indian Air Force exercise over the Bay of Bengal for the period between 4th to 23rd of January 2021, and this has led to speculation that it might be the test of the much-awaited Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile. We had already reported that 25 pre-production units of the Astra Mark II had entered assembly, and Su-30 fighter jets have received some modifications to carry the 160 km range missile, which will come with improved high-angle off-bore sight, improved jammer resistance with dual-pulse motor for an increased sustained range, and will also carry an expanded no-escape envelope for the missile. The Defence Ministry has announced that the case for procurement of 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters from Hindustan Aeronautics is at a final approval stage with the Cabinet Committee on Security, and the contract will be signed soon. The procurement of 15 limited series light combat helicopters, indigenously developed D-29 EW systems for MiG-29 fighter jets, follow-on purchase of Israeli Heroku UAVs are at advanced stage and these contracts are expected to be signed by March 2021. The integration of upgraded radio altimeter, software-defined radios, very high-frequency omnidirectional range and instrument landing system on Su-30 fighter jets have been completed. The Modi government has also sanctioned the project to develop and manufacture next-generation indigenous infrared search and track system for Su-30 fighter jets that will detect enemy stealth fighter jets in both day and night conditions. With a aim to develop an indigenous alternative to American NASAMS 2, VEM Technologies had showcased its concept of the Ajita Air Defense System during Aero India 2020, and new reports indicate that the private sector company is ready with all the components required to develop the surface-to-air defense system, and a full-fledged prototype might be showcased at the upcoming Aero India 2021. It will feature 360-degree four-dimensional mobile AESA radar system and 12 missile launchers, and will be deployed to protect vital installations in urban environment. After a Chinese underwater drone was captured by Indonesian fishermen, India, Japan and the US have already lifted their game to counter China's underwater activism. The US-Japan developed saucer system has now been deployed near the Andaman and Nicobar, which have created a counter wall against Chinese submarines loitering in the region. The SOSIS is a sound surveillance system that includes sensors, hydrophones and magnetic anomaly detectors, and it works in coordination with maritime reconnaissance aircraft to create a multi-tiered anti-submarine warfare system. Images of the recently inducted JF-17 Block II fighter jets by Pakistan has emerged on social media, and users have pointed out the cheap-looking hinges used on the aircraft, which shows that the cost factor have played a vital role in the decision-making process of the Chinese engineers, and the fighter jet has gone through a huge amount of cost-cutting, so that it can be handed over to Pakistan at $30 million per unit. Even the MiG-21 trainers built in 1980 and low-cost Chinese L-15 trainer were equipped with better hinges, but Pakistan has claimed that the JF-17 is comparable to the Indian Rafale fighter jet. The United States has added new Chinese companies on its banned list of companies, after finding evidence that they are controlled by the Chinese army, but a majority of these companies mentioned in the list have a sizable presence in India, and remaining companies are silently working to make an entry into the Indian market. The Ministry of Home Affairs has awarded six road projects of around 100 km near China border to the National Highways Infrastructure Development Corporation on a nomination basis, at an estimated cost of approximately 5,000 crore rupees. The project will be completed by 2022, and it will reduce the travelling time for ground forces from the existing three days to just seven hours. <laughs> Oh, my God.